Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. It's Roy, Val. Val. We're back here again to uh, talk to you guys about some stuff. Today, <laughs> well, we're going to talk about etching, using etching cream. We were trying to think of, you know, we're always trying to come up with ideas for what we're going to do as our presentation. And uh, we were thinking, you know, well, it's getting close to Mother's Day and graduations and Father's weddings. Day and weddings, right? All those things. So uh, we were going to show you some kind of quick uh, gift ideas that you can do using etching cream. Uh, which is a pretty uh, easy material to work with if you've never d used it before. It comes in a couple different sizes. We sell it in two different sizes, yeah. I think. This is the big industrial one. And I have to say, it is very easy, but it really can be kind of cool, personalized things. And, yeah. You know, for gifts or whatever, but um, I'm sorry, I'm pe peeling while I'm talking. Yeah, we have a few things on the table just to kind of give you some ideas about, you know, the types of things you can do uh, with etching cream. So we're going to show some simple gifts, and then I think later we're going to show some for fusers. So we're going to show you some things yeah. that maybe stained glass people could do um, or, right. or fusers. fusers. So we're kind of a wide variety of different things that can be done with etching cream. Uh, the first thing I think we're going to show you was something like this little uh, mirror, right? This picture frame. You can see we etched it on the bottom there. And what does it say down there? I, it's, uh, I don't know what it says. I think what is it's, it? a it's a Dr. Dr. Seuss saying, right? Uh -huh. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? Uh -huh. Wow. Why does that hang above my chair? Well, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't even know where it came from, but, don't, but uh, it is a cute idea to etch a mirror like that, <clears throat> I think. Yeah, it is a nice idea. I so think it's cute. I was going to show then, uh, we have this um, these nice boxes we saw here at Delphi. So another quick gift because the box is already made, right? And it's got a hinge on it, so it just opens up. And then we're going to you know, etch a, a mirror, right, to, to go into the lid box. So the, at, we have a couple of different yeah. stencils. This one is made by this Rub and Etch people, which is pretty nice, these stencils. And we, they come in a variety of different designs. Um, some are seasonal, some are uh, you know, everyday kind of stuff, animals or plants or all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, they do have And they're um, real easy to use. They are a one-time use. That's one of the maybe slight negative things about them is once you kind of apply them and apply the cream, you're, you can't use a stencil again, but, but they're super easy to use. So I'm going to show you quickly how they're done. So usually they come like this and you can see we've cut a couple of them out. I've set these, I'm going to move this here for a second. Um, I set them on top of the mirror and you just kind of figure out where in the heck you want to put them. Now what's sort of tricky is once you, you cut them, there's a paper backing on here that needs to get pulled off. So the blue is really like a wax kind of a material. So it's a little sticky. I mean, it's not like super sticky, but you can feel it on your finger. Mm -hmm. So then you'll know like which side you has to go down. Transparent too, because see when it's on the backing, see they're white, the backing's yep. white. But now we'll hold that up and you can see how that's. Yeah, it's really real transparent. So you know you got the backing right. off, right? Right. Yep, because maybe one of us was trying to put it on maybe, when the, well, in the, in the paper backing maybe, was still on maybe, it, perhaps. Maybe that happened. Okay, then maybe us. that happened. Maybe not. We don't talk about that. And then, um, but here we're going to put it on, and so it just kind of sticks on, and then you're going to use, which comes with the with the mm -hmm. stencil when you buy it, is the... Um, Popsicle, popsicle stick. Popsicle stick, right? <laughs> craft stick is what we say oh, okay. in the business, craft stick. And then um, then you're just going to kind of rub it on. And you, we're trying to get that waxy part to kind of stick to the glass. Um, sometimes I use the side of it. If you have like a gift card, I've used like a you know plastic gift card. That works pretty well too. Or a credit card. Yeah, or a credit card. Um, and then, like a gift card. Which is a, not really, but... Uh, and then we're going to rub it on, and then we have to peel it off, right? That's the tricky part. And then you just want to make sure that you have it all on there. And then if you peel it up, you'll see that I, like, I missed a spot. So we can come back down, rub it again. Yeah, peel it slowly so yeah. you can... So you can see the parts you, you miss. You lose your place. Yeah, right? especially these ones that have all these little tiny... I don't know how well you see the design, but they have all these little tiny uh, design pieces there that get sometimes don't always... For some reason, why am I I'm missing one? I can see it on the paper, just missing it on the thing. Okay. And then, um, well. Well, I guess just one little line. It's it's important to the design. Go. I gotta get it on there. Oh, I, I can't I can't let it go. And um, again, rubbing it as we go, making sure it's yeah. kind of sticks. So basically, on there. when you look at these, the blue is what's gonna stay in any place that it is um, transparent or whitish. That's the part that will get etched. Yeah, I think this is probably just uh, operator error, right? So I'm not getting all these on here, being in a hurry. Well, you know, using that stick can be 
make some money. Yes. Oh, that's right. It's a skill that <laughs> apparently I, I lack. Is that the? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, no, I just. I know you're trying to be just nice. Just didn't probably practice enough. Well, I. That surprisingly, I probably didn't. All right, almost there, people. Hang on. This is a five-hour. Yeah, it's like a repair. It's like the. <laughs> Hey, if you have questions about what we're doing, <laughs> feel free to reach out to us, right? I mean, you can always make a comment in the video section below, or you can reach us on, um, um, email us, Facebook at Delphi Glass, or always message us at uh, the various, you know, things. I, I forgot <laughs> them. Sorry, I forgot them. I mean, I can't read them because Kaylee's in my way. Facebook at Instagram. Yeah, thank you. Actually, I was just trying to... I was setting you up, Val, is what I was trying to do. Okay. Hey, look like at that. Isn't that nice? So, um, yeah, so you can see nice. how that's uh, got rubbed down there. And then what we're going to do is apply the etching cream, which I guess I'm going to do that, right? I can. Or you want to do it? I so, just, <clears throat> I want to do it. Yeah, that. we're just using. So, here at Delphi, we have flux brushes for so the stained glass people know what that is. But for the most part, it's just a relatively inexpensive brush. The, what's nice about the etching cream is, you know, it's um, only going to etch the glass. So it doesn't really eat away the, the, the brush or it's not going to do anything to the, to the um, metal. If you get it on your hands and rinse it off, it really doesn't do anything to you. It really is one of those acids that only works on, um, the, on glass. And you can see that Val's doing a nice job. So what you want to do Thank is you. like um, pile it on, right? So you want it a little bit thicker because you'll get a much more even looking etch by doing that. I practiced my dabbing before. Well, that's obvious. <laughs> you missed the antenna, but other, but oh. otherwise you're good. Okay, well, I was looking at the other Oh, part, sorry. I think I need... You know, I, it, you know, I do it kind of thick. Just to yeah, sure. I do it the I same mean, way. Okay. Because so sometimes it can look, look a little blotchy, especially like on if you're trying to cover a large area. Okay. That's it, right? That's that it. looks that's, pretty good. Yeah, no kidding. It, Sweet. It's easy. Pretty easy, and then you can see that when when it's this thick, uh, and you can see that the etching cream is relatively thick. Also, that it doesn't really run all over the place. But we did, you know, bring in some. I mean, we have some masking tape, or this is painter's tape, right? Which is not as aggressive as masking tape. In case you're, uh, you know, want to make sure that you don't get any etching cream somewhere that you don't want it, we we could mask this all off. But you you can see for the most part, you can control it pretty well, don't you think? I think so, but that is one of the things that, I mean, I think if you turn this glass around, Kaylee, the wine glass one, and there's a spot on the back. Oh, yeah. And I just think that's Yeah, this where, little spot right here yeah, is like where we... Yeah, that's just where a little cream got that, you know, we weren't paying attention or something. So, yep. you know, if you are concerned, or especially if your, your, your decal or pattern is real close to the edge... Like it is kind of here on the tops of this. I might put some tape just around. Yeah, that's there, just probably so I don't a good idea. Don't accidentally go off, so you can see how close to the edge these are. So dabbing there, I could feasibly. Yeah, you could. Get, I can, you could see where you get there. some yeah. on there. So I would do. The, I would do the tape there, but. So we're we're etching on the glass side. I think that hopefully that's obvious. Not on the mirror backing, right? But on the uh, glass top, the top surface of that. So how long do we have to let it sit? One to three minutes. One to three minutes, right? So, yes. so it hasn't been that I, Who knows, right? That's what I was thinking. I was like, how, the, we didn't look we at did. the time. Oh, so, minute. yeah, it's probably only been a minute. So, okay. Um, well, my personal experience with it is if we wait too long, so too long yeah, sometimes is not good time. because um, what can eventually happen is the etching cream can start to work its way under the corners and seams, and you get an image that's not as sharp and crisp. Uh -huh. It looks kind of fuzzy a little bit, so I would, you know, definitely try to keep within the three minutes if you can. Um, especially if you're cutting your own, like we're going to talk, I think here in a, a minute or so about cutting your own stencils, and yeah. and I think sometimes those are even, you know, the, if you're using another material besides this nice, you know, rub and etch stencils, that you have to be careful that the that etching cream doesn't get underneath it. But then we're just going to use water, so. Yeah, I think this ideally, is probably you know, and, close and, enough. And ideally, so. here, I'll move this you know, all right. Ideally, it would work best under Yeah, running water is little, what they say. Even a little yeah. sprayer just to just, yeah. If you rinse it too slowly, you're risking the same thing, having some of that etching cream run down and actually maybe affecting the finish oh, of the yeah, glass. Yeah, you could I see mean, that. Mm -hmm. I think I've done it before. So. 
Yeah, so I, I usually, a lot of times I do, you see we have a little bit of water in here when I'm not at, don't have running water access. I'll just come in and, and do this and then Val's going to pour some water on there and just finish rinsing it off right and then try to get it up out of there so that it's nothing's in there and then we'll just hit it again real quick so well, that was a good one. oh that was a good one that was nice and you will see at this point the stencil starting to come off right the water uh like i said it's just wax so it just will start kind of working its way off um usually then if we catch it we can just come on and peel it off or i think val's going to grab a paper towel which makes this even easier You can see the water is just kind of getting the yeah, it. kind of disintegrating it. I, I tell you, a lot of times too, a little warm water probably works even a hair better. But um, uh, I think the, what, the what paper towel will just um, kind of take that off. Sure, if you want to get, if we can get it wet. I'm gonna have clean water. You can see here where it, it'll start to come off, right? Even just from what just working with it. But again, um, does it? Work? Oops. Yeah, so well got this wet. Thank you very much. Very, very much. But I was trying to get the whole thing clean so we could see how nice it looks. You actually can see the design. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Good. I know sometimes it's hard in you know in the room we're in. Um, the glare makes. Yeah, it the the glare sometimes from the lights makes it a little a, a bit of a challenge to kind of see what's going on. But you can see for the most part how this will come off. And and as I've said now probably two or three times, if you're doing this under running water, especially if it's a little warm, it, this stuff will just wash right off. It it comes off without hardly any effort whatsoever. But, um, Right, but you can, yeah, yeah see, once it gets kind of wet, okay. my fingernail probably works just as well. Anyways. How's it look? Right, oh, it looks pretty, I mean, the design, I think, turned out pretty good. I think if you see it, right, can you see the, I'm trying to dry it a little bit, sorry, so you can see it a little bit easier, but you can see where mm -hmm. that's turned out pretty, pretty nice, right? Oh, pretty yeah, easy, pretty, pretty easy to do. So there's, um, oh, and then this goes, well, I just if you're curious about how it works in the box, right? So we're not going to do the whole thing, obviously, but I think you get the idea that you could put multiple pieces in there and then, you know, it fits inside the box. You got a nice little gift. Silicone uh, in there. Yeah. But yeah, just a little bit of silicone. We'll hold that thing in the lid, uh, which is nice. Uh, one of the things that, you know, Val and I were talking about, about what we like about the etching cream is it's a great way of personalizing stuff, too. So, you know, whether it's for an occasion or it's uh, for somebody specifically. So some of the um, stencils have an alphabet on them. So you see here we have a couple of alphabets that are here. Uh, so you could put someone's initials or their name or mm -hmm. mom or something, right? So you could do uh, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, this one even has sayings on it. Yeah, there's really cute. Yeah. They, they make them in cute subject matter and you can kind of find about anything that... Um, yeah, I wanted to know, suits to, to different tastes or different hobbies or you know and yeah and or different not, occasions right and, and if not you're going to show the other one in a minute anyway there's yes. a, a way to yeah make yeah own, we're going to show so. some other ones but Here, I'll move this yeah let's now. let me show you uh, another this is a kit again from the nice people at uh, at the rub and etch people and so this one here um, armor etch is the same one that makes the cream right so this is a kit that comes for doing a wedding and so it gives you we, we pulled out what was inside to show you what's going on. Now, the brown, these kind of, you know, brownish uh, stencils are actually reusable. So they're uh, kind of rubbery and they have an adhesive on one side and they'll stick to the glass, but you could pull them off and stick them back on. So instead of being like the blue ones are like a one-time use, these are reusable, which I think is pretty nice, really right? Nice, yeah. Yeah. And this one also comes with these some cute. fun, yeah, little... Accessories. Oh, accessories that you can add it to it. diamonds. Yep, and a little bow tie for okay. like a groom kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. You'll see that's what these are. Um, I know sometimes the image is a little hard to see, but it's supposed to kind of look like a tuxedo, like a, a wedding dress. A wedding dress. I don't know. I was. And or then, dog. Or <laughs> dog. <laughs> and, then, sure. and then this is like a close, you know, like just a, the, the top half of a wedding dress, top half of the, of the tuxedo, right? That's all they did that. And then lips, and then you can see on the groom here, it's got a mustache. So I was going to show you how this one works real quick. These just peel off. So uh, again, kind of stuck to this um, plastic backing. So you can, when you're done using it, you can just put it back on there and then uh, it's ready to go for the next time. I know the very first time you pull them off, sometimes they're a little stickier than not, but you can see them just kind of peel off. 
And the same thing with that one. Don't you had to? Don't you have to peel it a little slowly just to make sure you don't rip? Yeah, it. Yeah, that, that's a good point because if you can see some of the detail, like in the wording, right? So you know, best man or whatever. So the interiors of the A's and the E's are kind of small, and so you have to be a little careful when you're peeling it off that you don't peel it too fast that you tear it. Uh, I found it's better to like peel from one side and then start from the other side and kind of go back and forth, and that seems to work a little bit better. Uh, what's nice about these is that they are also flexible because they're kind of rubber. So I can kind of move them to, to help kind of follow along this curve of this glass. So I'm just going to put that on. I use my thumb to kind of pat it down. I don't know if you can see that like there's kind of a wrinkle here, but I can just, you know, pull it back up using my thumb. I can get that to smooth back down. Really just needs to be smooth. Uh, where uh, right around the design part, right. right? I mean, I don't care if it's wrinkled on the outside, but just right where the design is that we want it and to you be sort of nice push and smooth. That with your thumb to yep, I'm just kind of tighten it yep, to the surface of the glass. That's right, and it just kind of forms to that curve, so you can see then that it's bride, and then you know lips, lips, <laughs> right? Which I I don't I'm not know. Really sure why we're not sure why either, good. but what it looks good, we like it. And then we're just gonna put some etching cream on. I should have had you do this. You're better at it than I am. So, I mean, you said you practiced the dabbing part. So. Yeah, it's all right. You have to learn sometime. So just, you know, trying to keep it on one spot, right? Um, sometimes I go back over it. And then we'll do the lips real quick. And at, as I mentioned a few times now, you know, it's pretty thick. So I, I don't have to worry too much about it dripping off the brush as long as I'm not grabbing a whole lot, right? This is the, the most exciting part of the whole, the whole presentation. It's painful. Yeah. I didn't comment when you were doing it. I, I know. Was... You didn't. You were nice, but... Thanks. Okay, there you go. What do you think of that? How did I do? Great. That looks great. Good. I'm second-guessing it. And then you... I'm sure you set the timer. Okay, I did. Okay. <laughs> So, you know, that, <clears throat> but you now with this one, and you stayed, you stayed away from the edges enough, but. Yeah, it's, but it's I, close. I dabbed pretty heavily. I, yep. I dabbed more quickly and heavier, and heavier <laughs> than you. And um, so if you did, you, you might not want to, you know, yeah, especially if, if you're you're right. If it's thicker, edge, you could right? always come in. The, lot, what I do a lot of times is this kind of thing, right? right. Just, I mean, you know, find something to kind of keep it from rolling out of your... Because it really is nice and thick, and it's not really likely to drip. But it, if you are close to the sure. edge, you know, and you just hold it up, and especially if you dabbed as much as I did. Yeah. Yeah, you, you dabbed a lot. That was... But I was fast. That was nice. And for the people, I was trying to... Oh, is that it? We were trying, trying to keep to... it moving? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. So, um... Well, we just got to wait a couple minutes, right? So it's probably been... Yeah, two more minutes. Oh, we have to... Thanks, Kaylee, for oh. keeping track. That's good. That's one of the many, many reasons we we have you in this room with us. So, so we did... And we showed the mirror, but we didn't... While we're yes. waiting, we didn't show the picture frame. So it's yeah, the same so, idea. Yeah. But you could put a really cute picture in a picture frame and then maybe do some cute little you know, design in the corners or something or personalize Yeah, what a great it, idea, you know, right? A date or something. Yeah, and you can... You can see, actually, this is how we did the, the mirror, was just a picture frame, and we just cut a piece of mirror to fit the frame, right? But, but yeah, doing it on an actual uh, picture would be, that's uh -huh. also a great and idea, glass, right? Yeah. I know, there's nothing on that one. So then, we're just trying to think, I mean, there's just tons of ways to use this Yeah, stuff, right? there's a I bunch, mean, and, you could, and you probably, hopefully, you know, Kaylee panned on some of the other glassware that we have that just shows you some different ideas of, of the types of things you could do. Um, mm-hmm. And it's the same idea for people who know about sandblasting. I mean, if you have a sandblaster cabinet, then you can put these things in your cabinet and actually blast into a design. Be the same idea with sure. stencils and yep. everything. But but that requires, you know, a sandblaster and, and a little more setup. So I think that's what's nice about this. Yeah. If you're interested in, in sandblasting or, or sort of, you know, seeing what you can do by etching onto glass, you could start real inexpensively and easily. Yeah, this, this is an easy way. way. You're right. And then if you really get into it, the sandblaster would do more of a carve. You know, it'd be a deeper. Oh, that's carve. a good point. And it's nice, but visually, you know, sometimes from across the room, they look pretty similar. They so do. So this yes. is a kind of a cute way to start if you're 
thinking that you might be interested in doing it. So Yeah, this is a surface etching. I think I said that earlier, but um, I know I've talked to people before and they're like, well, I'll just leave it on longer and it will eat more into the glass. And it doesn't work that way. So it really will only um, etch the surface. And again, the longer you have it on the on there, the, the greater the risk is that you're going to start to get a start fuzzy bleeding, looking, bleeding yeah, out. bleeding kind of design. So. Speaking of, we are at our three minute mark. All right. Thanks, Kaylee. Thanks. My timer just went off. Or that was... You didn't have a timer. Uh, why are you giving it to me? Am I, I doing it? Yeah, you're doing it. Okay. I thought, uh, or else you want me to pour the water. How's that? And then right. you want to do the right, sweet. Which one did you? That I, it doesn't really. Is this matter. one? Okay. That's just water on there. All right. So this is super. I'm just. You want me to dip it down in there? No, no, I you're fine. You're totally fine. Of the other stuff. I'm just dumping water on the well, table. That was good. Oh, you were? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. a little bit. Oh, that's all right. Whatever. Okay. I'm sure there's been worse things on this table than. Now, you know. should I wonder? No. What I wonder should we kind of dab Yeah, it? I would dry it maybe just a tiny bit and then. Um, Before we try to peel those off. Yeah, we try to peel them off. Same thing, I'm gonna go kind of slow and see how when I pull that it starts to, well, it started to kind of stretch it down there. So maybe this is the same to go from both sides to Yeah, I think keep sometimes, my hand out of the way so especially can, the more complicated the, the design is, I think it's important yeah. to kind of maybe pull from more than one side, but there's the lips. Yeah, and that nice. is, that came off nice and yeah, that it was still nice. feels real stable. Oh, look at the lips. Very cute. Aren't they cute? Yeah. I said I'm not really sure. Bride and lips. I'm not really I'm well, not sure why you they know, go together, but I, probably because there's a lot of like kissing going on. <laughs> I was thinking about lipstick. Oh, okay. That's where my head went to. Oh, all right. <laughs> Yours went to kissing. Yeah, That's I went to kissing. <laughs> That's an interesting. Um, take. Because that's different between men and women, right? But then, as you can see here, then it's real easy to just stick these back on the plastic, like I said, and, and you, you know, save them for another time. So, fingers are finished. I don't know if you got them finished. See, if yeah. I put it in front of my black, that's... there you go. There you go. He planned ahead. Yep. I'm the visual yeah. aid. <laughs> okay, that was good. <laughs> when we do the die card, you can do that too. That's what nice. Kaylee said. Did I mess it up? Or? No, I, I think good? it's okay. Just it's a little smudgy, but I think that's oh, just because yeah. we haven't rinsed it off very well yet. So. Yeah, not too bad, right? Okay. And then, so what other uh, other things can we do with it? So well, yeah, we're going to do a bevel because we started looking at bevels, thinking a lot of people like to incorporate bevels into um, stained glass, or a lot of times when people do inserts or front doors or thing like that, where they do use a lot of bevels in the pattern. Remember, you used to be able to get um, etched bevels, and do oh they yeah, make, do, all kinds of stuff. Do they make glue chip bevels still? No. See, so you could, I mean, if anybody knows, glue chip bevels were just a, a, a bevel just like these, but they did have sort of an etched style pattern on it. Yeah. And so now they don't make them anymore, but you could do your Got own. Create your own design with right. the etching cream, right? You could do some yeah. sort of pattern so, or something. Since we just said that, why don't you show that because that goes with that. Just yeah, let, yeah, quickly, let me just show you this one real This is one of those... You know, they call it over and over, meaning that you can use a stencil more than once. But this one is uh, a stencil that you cut yourself, which is really kind of nice. So I think I had, a, oh yeah, an X-Acto knife, you know, floating around somewhere. So you could, you know, get your design onto here. Uh, you could trace it or use some kind of carbon paper to, to, to draw it on there or, you know, or trace it on. Or punching through it. Oh, I don't know. That's interesting. We haven't tried that yet. But yeah, we haven't tried but that yet. Might. But, you know, if you're, you know. I'm sure you're familiar with these uh, exacto knives, I think they're called, but you could cut out your own design that's reusable that you could then use all the time. Mm -hmm. um, that's nice. And it's the same, exactly the same as. Yeah, same material as what we use with the bride and groom stuff. So yeah, um, cool. that's a fun one. Mm -hmm. And then, um, oh, and then so bevels, right? So we're, I mean, what a great way, again, to incorporate it into stained glass. Uh, like I said before, you could you know, put initials on it if you're making a, a piece for somebody, right? Again, for mom or dad, since those. Uh, holidays are coming up soon mm -hmm. or um, initials or they like horses so you put a horse on it right so yeah, is that is go. that nice that's, that's so here's another one that we just put on there and then we did um, you know oh, rubbed it earlier yeah oh, we rubbed I it earlier I don't know how, well I did but you know last time 
I don't know how good of a job I did last time, so. Did you break your stick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we might need some more practice with this. Yeah, I'm just a little too, uh, <laughs> man, woo. This one, why won't this I'm gonna one? I'm going to have to cut Did back on the, this on the open. weedies. Yeah, it's up at the top. Yeah, then you open that. Oh, okay, here's another stick. I opened everything. I, that's okay, the nice thing about these sticks, they have oh, yeah. two ends to them, so. <laughs> I'll try not to break this that's one. That's right. I'm going to have to back off, you know, the amount of pressure I'm putting on, because apparently... It, um, well, I didn't want to say it out loud, but yeah. all right. Again, another one that's got all this nice little fine detail in there. This one's coming off really pretty nice Ooh. and clean. I know I'll miss the Everybody's eyeball. Eye. Matt asked, Matt asked if this is armor etch. Yes. Yes. Wow, that was I'm sorry. To say. Yeah. yeah sorry. Etch. We we um, we missed that at the beginning, but it is armor etch. It's the brand name. If that makes any difference. For the cream as well as yeah as the stencils did you want me to do this one too? oh i don't care do, do, it's, have we done enough we do oh you mean we don't need to do it no nah, oh yeah right. i don't think we need to do it you guys get it the, yeah do you get the idea i mean we can in uh we can do it but then we, we gotta can. sit and wait for another three minutes. yeah that's right you gotta wait for three minutes and I don't, then we, we might not but, have anything else to say but you're pretty fast dabbing so maybe <laughs> maybe true. Maybe this Val could do it. But I think you get the ideas, right? So we're, you can, you know, I've seen these done different ways. We're doing the, the top of the bevel, the front surface of the bevel. I've, had, I've seen people do them on the back side. I don't know, I don't think it really makes that big of a difference, to be honest. Personally, I like them on the front. I just think that they are easier to read. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess that's just a matter of opinion. Right. If it's clear, it's going to probably read okay. Yeah. Sides, right? Yes. Okay. Well, then we have uh, another thing to show with the dichroic, right? This is kind of a fun way of using the etching cream. Right. We're Let's using examples here real quick. Right, so, so for those of them people who don't know about the dichroic, it is yes. just it's like an iridized coating. It's a coating on the glass. Yes. Right. So, yep. um, so there would be when you have a piece of glass with a dichroic coating on it, you're going to have the coating is going to be on one side, and the other side is the glass. So this particular coating started on with a black piece of glass, and then this coating was applied on the other side. Right. Yep. So it also comes um, on clear. It actually can be any color could be coated, right? Yes. But predominantly, what you yeah, find ones. easily accessible are going to either be on clear or black. Those are usually yes. the two, right? So I agree. Um, yeah. So this one on clear is um, same thing. It has a coating on one side of the glass. So one side is the coating, and one side is the glass. So this one you sort of have an option as to which way you're going to turn it. Do we have, we don't have an example of the coating up. On uh, yeah, this, the horse is coating up. Oh yeah, okay. So the difference is, and, and this is coating down, so maybe you can kind of see how the coating up is going to be more of a foil type look. Yeah. And then the other, when you turn it and put the coating down, like this is an example of these being down on top of another color. So that's also the advantage of using the, the dichroic on clear is that then you can put it on any color of glass you want. To yeah. back like it the red one, yeah. right? Like this one we did in red, which is three circles. Three circles, yeah. yeah. Three, three gold circles. <laughs> three gold circles. Yes. We don't want to get sued by Disney, so we were trying, trying to... Say that. That's we were, yeah, those. that's how, what we rehearsed. That's not what. Okay, so anyway, so this one, I'm, I don't know, I'm just, I thought it was kind of cute. I'm using it. Um, Roy has these really cute paper punches. They really are nice. Thanks. And he has a bunch of them. And this one happens to be, well, you can see here I did dog paws, right? So I, I punched them, and then this is what it looked like, and I had cut the glass to fit it, and then just etched the actual paw print okay so we talked about maybe doing it in reverse but when i punch out the the paw print you know it punches a hole in the paper like this this is contact paper by the way or we call it resist yeah or like sandblast resist but... yeah it's got a sticky back to it um but then if i tried to do it the the two different ways by taking the little toes i could do that too if i could get them all stuck out and then i'd have like 
a reverse. Yes. Or yeah. Well, there's one of the little toes there. Yeah, there's so, a So, you know, it makes... But if you could see it easier, I think, with the moose, right? Right. So, so, so I cut the moose out and, and put... Actually stuck him on there. And then the... Um, the cutout of the moose I'm going to put on another piece. And so that is going to give me a, a bit of a different look. It's going to give me this one. The moose will be dichroic and the, uh, the round surround will be black. Like the, like the horse is, right? Yeah. So where the horse is dichroic, but the background is dark. So and, that's how that one's going to end and up. And then yeah. this one is going to be... A black moose. Yes. I'm just, it's oh, sorry. my finger arms. I'm not sure if I, I cut you. my thing big enough. You can do it. Got it. Kind of, not really. Oh. I don't think it's really fitting on there. But but anyway, you get the you get the idea. I kind of didn't. You could peel it back off. That would be good. So again, I don't know if you heard, but this is a adhesive backed vinyl, sort of like contact paper. Um, this is a product that we sell here at Delphi that's used for sandblast resist. But again, I mean, not only can you use like these paper punches on it, but you could create your own designs, you know, use an X-Acto knife and cut it out. Um, you could, for anybody out there that owns a Cricut or some other vinyl cutting machine, you could cut your own stencils. I mean, you, and you know how endless the, the designs could be there. Um, and then what's nice about it, too, is just what Val's doing here. Sometimes, you know, you put it down wrong. That's all right. You can peel it off, stick it back down. It's sticky. Look at it. Yeah. That. Yeah, these tend to be um, a little stickier, you know, the vinyls than the um, the oh. stencils, for example. But Okay. Yeah, there you got one. Okay. And then you're going to show both, right? You're going to etch right. them both. Right, so we'll etch them both. And then it's just, like I say, it's just a reverse look. So, you know, it's kind of, or you can use both. You know, you get yep. double duty out of your one punch. but Yeah, that's um, what I think is always nice. You can yeah. get two designs. But sometimes, you know, you can see this moves. What, he's got a toe on him. Oh. It's mm -hmm. from the paw print. That thing. Oh, my gosh. Man, they're, they're everywhere. Yeah, that is, that is nice dabbing. Thank you. Look at this. See, there's this, this little bit of a weight so that it fills back in. That's the trick. But you don't wait too long. No. So one of the things about the dichroic, so if you're not familiar with dichroic coatings, the coatings are um, various thicknesses, and that affects the color of it or the design. So some coatings are thicker than others. And so my personal experience is when I'm etching off the dichroic is some take longer than others to really get through the coating. But what's nice about this is, and hopefully we'll get an opportunity to see it, is that when you rinse it off, you'll be able to see whether or not you've um, etched it long enough. And if it's not etched long enough, we can just add some more etching cream. Because with the vinyl that's on there, the water's not gonna interfere with the, with the vinyl, so we don't have to peel the vinyl off. So or sometimes one. you can use it to your advantage too. Sorry, sometimes you can use it to your advantage. I've actually changed the color of the dichroic slightly by just etching a little bit of it off and not all of it off. So this one, obviously, I want to go to the edge, right? Yeah. Because yeah, and you can see that. Actually, I don't know how if Kaylee can show this one very well, but I actually, you know, along the edge, you see a little bit of the dichroic mm -hmm. just because I, you know, didn't leave the etching cream on long enough. It was clearly just a. What do you need? I need. I just need something to set it on so that it overhangs, but oh. I don't want to get it on any of your stuff. So. Use the cap. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, you just don't want to. Yeah, because you can't do it because you're grabbing it with your fingers, right. right? Well, I could do it, but then I'm probably going to have a, you know, yeah. a void where I don't want one. Yeah, yep. that looks good to me. Yep, I have made a little mess. Right you did make a mess, but... Okay, so now, three minutes. Starting now. Starting now. And like you said, I don't know, sometimes I have had the experience where it wasn't quite long enough. Yeah. So, you know, and so when that happens, you can just redo it, right? Yep, you, you can, can just redo it. Off and yep, just, just rinse it off and just reapply the etching cream. Usually the same deal, I will pat it dry with a paper towel or something, let it give it a, a minute or two to kind of dry, and then apply the etching cream. That's nice of you to clean up. That's good. I know our tape doesn't look good. Okay. 
So did you want to talk about, did you find, you found a piece? Oh, yeah, let me show you, the... yeah, real quick, for, again, for those of you that uh, maybe are um, not fami familiar with dichroic, or maybe you are, and you just don't know which side is the coated side, because sometimes that's, I mean, on the black, it's obvious, right? I was right? going to say, I can show you <clears throat> how to tell which is the coated, coated side, side on, on the black. black. Good one, Val. This is not the coated side. This is the coated side. Roy will show you how to find Yeah, so on clear, clear, sometimes it's, it's a challenge. And so there's a variety of different ways of doing it. One thing, and I don't think this is going to show up very well, but sometimes you can look at the edge, and especially corners, and you'll see the dichroic coating goes all the way to the edge. And sometimes you just have to tip it to catch the reflection just right. But when it's on the glass side and you're looking at the corners, you'll see that there's a spot where like the, along the edge, the coating doesn't actually go all the way to the edge. Again, I think that's probably easier to see in here when you're when you're holding it in your hand right i'm going to reach in front of you val and grab a, the pen oh can you get me the marker too please mm, sure. another technique is using a pen so what we can do is put the pen on the surface of the glass and then again by turning it at an angle what i'm looking for is the reflection of the pen i'm trying to see if the tip of the pen meets, meets the other tip of the pen if that if they touch then that's the coated side if we go to the um a uh, glass side and then hold it You'll see uh, that the tips of the pens don't meet. Can you, are you seeing this at all? Is it just yeah, totally not? I can see it from over here, so I just don't know. If and you can see where the tips of the pens don't meet. The other thing too is the reflection is not as crisp of a reflection because we're looking through the glass to see the coating. Now, for some reason, I'm leaving all this mark uh, ink on there. Fair. But there's another one other trick. Let me show you. It involves a, a marker. Usually, I just use a sharpie. And so we can put a line on the glass. And then if you flip it over and put a line somewhere else, on the glass side, uh, when you're looking, you'll see almost like a reflection of the marker. Like, so it looks like it has a shadow, the marker does. Uh, on the coated side, you don't see it. You see only the marker. You don't see that like double line. Did you, could you see it? Oh, can for you, sure. Can oh, you see okay. it? Yeah, flip it back over, would you, Roy? Yeah. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Do I need to tip it or are you good? No, that's perfect. Yeah, see? Sweet. So, because it makes a difference, obviously, because if you're trying to etch off the dichroic and all you're doing is etching the clear, then you, you'll lose your design, right? I mean, you right. won't see it. So once you fuse it, it will totally, do you have the cap to that? Thanks. So that's it. How to find the coated side of dichroic. Yeah, that, that showed up pretty good. I'm surprised. That was a good Thanks. piece. Thanks. Okay. Excellent. So, so where are we at? We're probably ready to rinse, right? You want to try we? it? Or at least try it with the... two minutes. So yeah, we can give it a go. It's with been the, two minutes? Well, the first one, you... This is the one you did first, so mm -hmm. I thought maybe it might be ready. I don't know if you want to... Of course, I just stuck it to the table. I just ran my fingers through it. Okay. So you want to brush? You can, yeah, this will take... Oh, you want me to do that? That's your turn. Okay, sweet. All right. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Here's Oops, the big... Hit it. Oh, here's the big reveal, right? So... Oh, yeah, I did. And, and people, it's a black mousse. That's good. Yeah, nice. That actually worked out pretty well. Peel right? It. Do you want to peel it? Or no, you, you can oh peel gosh, it. Oh gosh, I get to peel it. So, um, right, so now we're going to peel it and you're going to see. I suppose if you were careful. Gosh, you if could you're use, real careful, you might be able to reset. But that you again. see now there's a black moose with the dichroic in the background. So, you're that was not pretty cool. It. I'm not? You're, well, he was tipping it, wasn't he? Was Did I? you get a good was look at it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kaylee's she's a good camera person, so I know she's. Well, it has smudge. I want to get it. Oh, is that I what it was? But she you wants her moves to be perfect. Yeah. Can't say that I blame her. I think it turned out cute. Yeah, that is nice. And then, of course, you could do make pendants out of these, or you could just incorporate them into a fuse piece. Yes. I'm sopping up some of the water I missed. And then there's so there's that one. You want to just give it a shot and see? Yep. And I can tell you that really it's just the, um, it has to do with the dichroic coating. And then you're not going to really know how thick the coating is until you start to try to take it off. Because yeah, this was not. Mm -hmm. and that, this came off really well, actually. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get, you know, a little residue of the coating right. sometimes or in, around the corners, around places. This one's going to be harder to get off in one piece. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, this because all its little legs and might be a challenge. But it's pretty though. sturdy stuff. Yep. So exciting. Came off. Oh, see now that's pretty. See now you have a dichroic mix, right? Isn't it? So here's yep. you know here's the 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 different styles. You know either etching yep. off the dichro or leaving it behind for the 
focal point. Cool. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. So that's. Well, if you guys have questions about any of this or anything else, I guess, or if you have um, ideas about what you'd like to see us do next time, I mean, again, feel re free yeah. to reach out to us. You can always email us at Facebook at Delphi Glass or message us on Facebook or Instagram. Um, if you want to see our other videos, they're on our video section in our um, Facebook, YouTube. Facebook and YouTube. Thanks. Like it was like, our I Facebook think it was one of them. Facebook. Facebook and YouTube. We have video oh, section. Facebook we have video section. I mean, but after today, you're probably tired of us. So <laughs> we're So, yeah, this can be fun with that team. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll, we'll be back probably uh, in a couple of weeks as a plan. And yep. then uh, we'll, try we'll to have think something, of something new and exciting for you. Post it yeah. for you. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us yeah, today. Thank you.